I'm Tuck. And I'm Lenny Ben. Join us as we turn our Catalina 30 into our new dream home. And set sail on the adventure of a lifetime. Alright guys, let's check this thing out. See what I'm into. Let's go right back here in this Lazarette. To look at this thing. Let me get this thing out. A little pressure washer. A little membrane there. Get it out and show you what I've got. You may be asking why do I have a pressure washer hooked up to this thing. This thing is a membrane for water makers. You can buy these. Um, the housing's about $500 and the membrane on the inside is about $250. That cheapy Craftsman pressure washer is like a hundred bucks and then I've got the fittings and things like that. As you remember in the previous video, um, when I hooked up that water heater there, I also had to plumb everything. And then down where the seacock is, or that fed the old diesel engine I put a C strainer and then I put a 12 volt pump and then it runs down to here I've been telling you guys that I was gonna build a water maker well I did pretty portable really simple and it's under a thousand dollars let me show you what I got going on you see that spigot there if you seen a previous video when I was doing the plumbing for this thing, I put a secondary pump to one of the through holes where it come off the engine and I plumbed it in here. So I got these two valves. This one is fresh water and this one is salt water. And you can see that I've got my Micron filters down there that runs through. So when I flip that valve and then turn this on, it's this, I'm just trying all this crap out to make sure it works. I've got to plumb it in. Now let me show you what, what happened. That is a pressure washer. I know it's not um, a watermaker pump. They're stainless steel and all that crap. I get it. Trust me. But this does push over to here into this membrane. And I had a gauge right here, but the gauge malfunctioned and I'm just trying all this out. So when I get it all done, it'll be plumbed up and all that crap. So yeah, well let's um, see how it works. We'll turn this on, which it's already on. Come right over here and we hit the on button. don't know um, you know how much that um, it's gonna make an hour or any of that I would say probably enough to, to get us by we're not gonna be drinking this even though it's safe to drink but this is how we're going to do our fresh water when we're out and guys I know I'm gonna I have to back flush all this stuff and get the salt out of that pump it's going to rust and corrode but that thing's a hundred bucks and I can get that anywhere and it's as simple as plugging it up so there's the DIY water maker for under a thousand bucks on this boat 
and you know if it screws up then i guess we're hauling water i don't know but this was um worth a shot and it works i've got to plumb it up and get the gauges on it and all that and then actually test the water and see where we're at make sure it's safe but i'm liking this deal so far all right guys so you see my little makeshift water maker with the you know with that pressure washer i'm not telling you to go out and do this i'm not telling you to uh, this is the end of um high price water makers i'm telling you that this does work and it's a cheaper solution i'm not going to tell you that it's the best solution you can go to seawater pro you can there's other companies and you can drop five grand on a water maker or whatever it is and put it in your boat and things like that this is just a little bit of an extra security we have um, ballast bags for actually wake boats that hold a lot of water and then we also have our other tanks and it was a fun project if you've been watching us for a while you know that tuck lights a really good challenge and a good project and that kind of deal um, I did see a video on YouTube where a guy used it basically this setup on on a kayak so um, you can and he explains his a lot more than I do I just kind of show the highlights of the stuff that I do it's hard for me to do things and work at the same time but you know what guys if you followed along with me this you know what hit that subscribe button the like button and if you're wondering where Lenny Bean is at she is here in Long Beach but she's had to do some errands you know some adulting crap and I'm stuck here on the boat and but she'll be in one of our next videos uh, one of the next videos I think I'm gonna do is a, a boat tour I done a boat tour when I first bought the boat but now I'm gonna do another boat tour because this boat is ready to go uh, several changes you know the before and after stuff but you know thank you guys for hanging in there with me go over and check us out on Facebook check us out on Instagram and our videos you know they're gonna be a little bit slower um, till we leave because I don't know how many of you have been keeping up but I am recovering now from back surgery I am and a lot of people are like why did you go to the boat well I was at home I was in bed hard to get out of bed hard to get up off the couch it was hard to do anything well I don't know if you know very much about a sailboat but check this out there are handholds everywhere where I can grab something and pull up there's nothing wrong with my legs the doctor fixed that with surgery and there's nothing wrong with my arms I'm still healing and it's a it's a slow process with my back but guys if you stuck around this long I really appreciate you I can't tell you how much that we appreciate you and you know what until the next time fair winds safe travels and join us for the next shit show